and they were 85 youtube team keep it clean what's going on uh it's in raven here with another video and in this video uh the ravens officially get down to 85 men uh on the roster uh they made some cuts also placed somebody on injury reserve uh, and we're going to talk about all that first and foremost i hope that y'all are doing really really good um, I hope everything is going great for y'all. Today for me was a different kind of day because I was just sitting back thinking about some stuff uh, that that was it was bothering me a little bit. Um, can't lie, and, and it was just it's business stuff, um, and just uh, but when I was sitting there thinking about it, I'm like, man, it is frustrating, and, and some days are frustr more frustrating than others. But you just gotta realize that uh, life isn't fair, and you you just gotta keep pushing. You just gotta keep pushing. Um, despite what happens, despite what doesn't happen too, uh, you just gotta keep pushing and being the best version of you. Uh, so y'all keep doing that. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, now let's talk about these Baltimore Ravens. So, um, they had to make five roster moves to clear five roster spots to go from 90 to 85 people. Now, I don't think any of these moves were really surprising, but the one that sort of shocked me the most wasn't really a shock but the only thing I was surprised about was how early it happened I thought there was going to be like a little more competition throughout it was a quarterback um because the Ravens they released Brett Hundley and I know there had been some confusion on Twitter with some NFL reporters they were like oh man there's a shocker that the Ravens actually uh released backup quarterback uh Brett Hundley but they had got him confused with Tyler Huntley and that it's easy for a lot of people to do. But anyway, so I, I didn't expect him to make the team. I didn't expect him to make the roster, not even the practice squad. But I thought that the, the, the competition was going to go a little further than the first round of cuts. I guess like, and we, we did say it like when we were watching the preseason game live. When he fumbled that ball, I said, oh boy. It's like with Devin Williams, when he fumbled the ball. And when, um, when Brett Huntley, when he fumbled the ball, I was like, oh yeah, they, they out of there. They, they are out of there. But then I watched a replay of the uh, Brent Huntley fumble, and um, Tyree Phillips had just got beat. And so I was like, oh, okay, that ain't Huntley's fault. Um, but he's still out of there. Uh, and, and Anthony Brown, I was just re-watching a part of the game where he was playing. I'm like, hold up now. This dude, like, undrafted rookie free agent, he looked really comfortable out there. He looked really comfortable out there. And he did look better than, um, than Huntley. Uh, he just he just looked comfortable and he he was completing the short passes, the deep passes too. He was doing it all. And I was like, okay now. And something that stuck out to me, and I I was like, hey, maybe it's a big deal, but probably not. But something that stuck out to me in that first preseason game was how they played him. Because first they played Tyler Huntley, obviously. He's a backup quarterback. But then I expected them, all right, they're going to play Huntley first. Because he's the veteran. He done been in the NFL for, what, six years and whatnot, six, seven years. They're going to play him next. Nope. They played Anthony Brown. And I was like, oh, okay now. They're actually playing an undrafted rookie free agent before the veteran? All right now. And that was apparently how they had the roster set up, how they had their depth chart. Because um, now Hundley, who was the last quarterback to play, he's gone. Uh, so it's Anthony Brown. It's, it's his job to not even necessarily lose. Because I, I think they're just going to sign him to the practice squad. Ravens are not going to keep. I don't anticipate them keeping two quarter. I mean, excuse me, three quarterbacks on the roster. I think obviously Lamar Jackson and Tyler Huntley will be the backup. And then Anthony Brown, he'll be uh, on the practice squad. Will he get plucked off the practice squad? We'll see. Uh, but anyway, that was uh, one of the moves that they made, releasing Brett Hundley. Uh, now, Trent Harris, who they they literally just signed, literally just signed him. I think he might have practiced like maybe one, maybe two practices. Uh, they just signed him, but they're putting him on injury reserve. Um, so his season is literally over before it got like they literally just brought this guy in. But his season is over now. Now it's a wrap. Um, so the, they got the same amount of depth at outside linebacker that they had a couple of days ago um, before they signed him. So now they not starting from scratch, but back to square one with that. Um, a couple other moves that they made. Uh, they also yesterday they released Robert Jackson, cornerback Robert Jackson, number 17. And Robert Jackson, it, it, it was rough for him. Um, it was rough on, I know, last year. 
I, and he was put in a really tough position too because he came to a team that was obviously depleted by injuries. I think they signed him to the practice squad initially. Then they put him on the active roster, and it just it was rough. It, it, it was really rough. Um, and he he struggled. He struggled. Now I mean he did have to cover some pretty good wide receivers, especially when like I, I can't I can't complain that you struggle with the best wide receiver in the game last year. And you had just got signed to the team. Like, I ain't complaining over that. Because that's, even for cornerbacks that have been in the league for years, they're going to struggle with him too. Um, but it, it had been a struggle. And then in camp, it was kind of up and down for him. Everything that we had been hearing about, kind of up and down. A lot of downs, though. I think more downs than ups. Um, so it's tough. It's tough. And again, with the secondary, we knew that like they weren't going to keep everybody. When they signed him to the future reserve deal uh, last year, after last season ended, um, they signed both him and Kevon Seymour. Um, even though they signed them to those deals, you know, it wasn't anything that was guaranteed. Uh, so now they've officially cut Robert Jackson. Um, but then they cut Corey Clement, too. So that was another one. They cut Corey Clement. And with him, that was one where it, it wasn't surprising either. Um, I, I know uh, we, we talked about it in our... Uh, a post game thoughts video about the uh, the Ravens and Titans preseason game that I just felt like with Justice Hill how he was running, uh, with Mike Davis pretty much being a roster lock, Tyler Beatty I think he'll be a roster lock too, and, and just uh, not Justice Hill J.K. Dobbins on his way back um, with uh, with Corey Clement I just felt like he was on the outside looking in. Now I did I did like the signing. This is again stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. J.K. Dobbins is coming back from injury. Gus Edwards not ready yet. Um, gonna be a while for him. But with um, I did like the signing because it was them the Ravens being proactive uh, instead of reactive. Them trying to take care of business ahead of time instead of them getting caught slipping. Um, so I, I really did like the signing because it was quality depth. I mean, you you just signed a Super Bowl champion running back. That's quality depth. But um, with him, I just felt like he was more so on the outside looking in. Uh, Justice Hill in, in his limited action He looked good on uh, Thursday night Mike Davis, same thing uh, And Beatty, Beatty looked, He looked decent too um, But Beatty was a draft pick this year So I, I just, I didn't, I don't envision them Cutting him um, So Corey Clement being Him being out, I, I just No, no shocker there either um, Now, uh, these other two moves Well, actually other three moves That will yeah, I guess three moves. They end up really equal in one roster spot. Uh, so just a quick recap. Um, so they cut Corey Clement, Robert Jackson, uh, Trent Harris to IR, and Brett Hundley. Um, they released him. So that's four roster spots that they cleared up. But now if you go back a couple of days, remember when they, they waived Denzel Williams, who was an undrafted rookie free agent cornerback? And they also waived Devin Williams, uh, who I was hoping was going to be more in the mix uh, at wide receiver um, in the wide receiver competition. But you just you never really heard much uh, about him. You never really heard his name called like that. Uh, you never really heard really anything about him in training camp. Uh, so the Ravens, they they just they cut him. They cut him. Um, and so with that, uh, with them cutting Denzel Williams and Devin Williams, that's two cuts that they had made a couple days ago. But uh, when they signed Trent Harris, that kind of eliminates one of those cuts. So it's almost like they only cut one person. So only one roster spot uh, was eliminated. You get what I'm saying? Because this is the process of elimination. Because you waive two people, but you sign one. So it's like two minus one equals one. So there we go. So anyway, that's the five roster moves that the Ravens made uh, to get down to 85. So next week, um, next week, they have to get down to 80 men on the roster. Um, so that I, it, it gets tougher. It gets tougher because now you starting to have to cut a little bit more into your depth. Um, and you still got some guys. Uh, you, you you got a lot of guys on your roster. Like you you can only keep what fifty three, so you still got a while to go. Um, and yeah, th you only having to cut five. Yeah, that does make it kind of easier. Uh, but at the same time, it's like the big cuts coming soon. Um, to where you really got to make tough decisions. You know, uh, we are entering stash season. Uh, I wonder if uh, if Trent Harris was a, was a stash because it was like really, he just got here and he already injured. Man, I don't know. 
Um, we'll see what happens with Tylen Wallace because the Ravens, they can take their time with him now, depending on the severity of his injury. But I think whatever they do with Tylen Wallace is going to be a last minute. It's going to be a, at the, the very last round of cuts and roster moves that they got to do to get down to 53. Whatever they're going to end up doing with him. They, they do. I don't see unless he had like a season ending injury, which I don't think it will be. I hope it won't be. Um, that's the only way that they made a move on him early. But with things how they are right now, they they can wait. They they got some time. Um, so yeah, man. I I just what I'm hoping, uh, and I mean even with Tylen Wallace too. Uh, what I'm hoping is that no rosters, and I, I say this every year, but it doesn't always end up like that, especially last year. But what I'm hoping is that no roster spots are determined by injury. That's what I hope, but. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh, thank you for supporting. Uh, thank you for watching the videos. And thank you for really, really, like, seriously supporting the channel. Uh, because y'all are, like, crazy. Super crazy with, with y'all level of support. Um, and I, I, I appreciate you all's time every single day. Um, sometimes two times a day. Sometimes three times a day. Uh, I, I appreciate y'all uh, always coming through literally every single day. Thank you for that. I appreciate y'all. I will see you all tomorrow. Unless, you know what, the Ravens end up doing something else crazy tonight. We'll see. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for rocking with us. And we out.